Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo T and today I have a new video, but this is a different kind of video. So here I have a bunch of really, really old clay creations that I made that dates back to 2010. So that's almost nine years ago. Some of them are much earlier. You may have seen some of these in my earlier YouTube videos, but I thought we could kind of take a stroll through memory lane if you remember any of these, if you're from back then, and just kind of take a look and give a good judge on some of these creations. I'm going to critique them and make fun of myself and we'll just see how they look like. So the first one is this little cat head. And I remember this is like one of the first original creations I made. I still really like the design and idea of this cat. I think it was just well made. It's like a little raindrop cat head with a tail and it has like the snout as two little dots. I really like this design still. And as you can see all of my things still have eye pins in it because this was the trend back then. None of my stuff have it now but I really do like this cat a lot. Now this. I made this a long time ago. This is a Christmas Baymax. And I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but it was when Big Hero 6 came out, and that's supposed to be a little candy cane slice. I believe I made that candy cane, like the little cane itself, like homemade, and it was the first time I ever made it. I made this for like a holiday Baymax thing. I did it for one of my first Etsy shops. Did not sell at all. And Honestly, this is just poorly made. I really am not a big fan of it. This one right here, let's see if I can get it focused. Right there. So this one is supposed to be a bookworm. And I was going for like a whole book series. I still really like the design of this. I might remake this because I find it quite creative if I say so myself. And this was like during that phase when I just loved using pearly clay. I don't use it at all anymore, but I did like the shine of it. I have a bunch of these stitch carrots, and if you look at the little like leaf parts, they're supposed to be like yarns. And I still think it's quite creative. I do like it. But here's one of my original stitch bunnies. And it's just not my favorite. I don't like how the ears are so like folded in and I just I believe I sold many stitch bunnies that look like this and to me like one this is really tiny. I forget how tiny these are because over time they did get bigger and bigger. Not by much but this is just too small and the nose is way too pointy and I like more of a rounded look. And like if you look in the back, the stitches are just not very even, it's not a nice V shape. Here I was, this is a key that I made, it's supposed to be like a Disney key, and it's like a Mickey Mouse. As you can see it's flat here because this is how it laid. I wanted to test out Prolex powders and I was like, whoa this is pretty cool. But the Prolex kind of rubbed off so it's a little bit grayer here. And overall, this key could have been a good idea. I think I wanted to use it to like make Kingdom Hearts keys, but then I never did because this was too much work. This one, I remember when I first made this, I was so proud of it. It's supposed to be Heracross. Heracross is my favorite Pokemon in the world. And it's like supposed to be like a little like icon, like avatar version of it. So it's super simplified. And I know I was super proud of this when I first made it, but now I'm just like, like it's not even the wings like this wing is slightly more open than that and the eyes like one eye is bigger than the other and the legs just look weird not a big fan anymore may need to remake this this is supposed to be a little panda bear and I believe I made this for a sweet tutorials tutorial and it's tiny. The mouth, I could barely, you could barely see the mouth. It's so tiny and it's not even even and the legs are kind of awkward and the ears are super awkward. I don't know what I was thinking saying like this was okay. Here are 
two penguins, one small penguin on top of a bigger penguin. And this is just super simple. I believe I made this quite recently, like maybe 2015. I still don't know what I'm thinking, like, I think I should have more skill than this back then, but I guess not. Here I have a YouTube cupcake. And I'm just not good at anything realistic, like, the base is dirty, it has like dents in the mold, this muffin part or the bread part of the cupcake doesn't look realistic, I tried shading it, it doesn't look good, and the frosting is really dirty, Just it just doesn't work out in so many ways. You can't see the dirt, but it's pretty dirty. I have these three little radishes. And they're tiny, their faces are so small. And I believe I wanted them to kind of like the, from like Princess Peach style. And I think I have a tutorial on these. I don't know if I got rid of that or not. They're so small though. They're like literally the size of my fingers. And this is during the time where I thought anything small means it's cute and it means talent. And that's not true. Small and does not mean talent. It just means that you're ridiculous. And my fat fingers tried to make things as small as possible and probably ruined my eyesight in the end. I have these two little stars and I gave these out as extras in my Etsy shop when I had an Etsy back in the day. And they're supposed to be from a Mario game. They're also super tiny, their faces are tiny, you can barely see the mouths. And like I said before, I thought the smaller the mouth, the more talented you are. So you have these nearly non-existent mouths. and. I mixed all these like pearl clay with translucent clay by myself so it has this effect and in the end they just look like really awkward dancing seeds. I have this Totoro on a tree and everything is pearly clay because I was going through a pearl clay phase and I really liked making these flatbacks but I'm just really not good at details. I don't like the tree. The Sit Sprites is probably my favorite. Totoro is just the wrong shape and oversimplified. And if you look in the back, there's some like weird highlighting and there's actually, I don't know what this is. It says like duo, duo? I don't know, there's like writing here. And I believe this was on top of like a post-it note, like a yellow post-it note with like words and writing on it before I baked it and then it stained it perf like, like this. So, not the biggest fan of this piece. I do have the Sentimental Circus card, which I actually do like. I thought the colors was really nice. And I wanted to actually add more of these kind of borderline details to everywhere and make it more intricate, but then this was so annoying to make that I stopped. I'm not super proud of it now, but like it looks nice in the actual, like, from far away it looks nice, I feel like. But up close, it's not as detailed as it seems and it's not intricate at all. There's too much bare space here. I really should have filled it out more. This is way too small for a card this big. I have this cat present box thing. And this is ugly in just so many ways. The bow ribbon is pretty bad, is like pretty bad. Um, the pastel detail in this is just hideous. The mouth is uneven. The eyes are very uneven. If you look, one eye is like deeper and bigger than the other and yep, just no. Here are some gemstone back turtles I made back in the day. I'm not sure if I made these for tutorials or if these are just like other ones. Usually what I did was if I had scrap clay, I just make them into cubes and then I just add turtle backs to them. And so I had a good amount of collection of them, but I think I gave a lot away as extras for Etsy sales. Here is me trying to make anime characters. This is supposed to be Kuroko from Kuroko no Basuke or Kuroko's Basketball. And I was really proud of how small I was able to paint like the wording on it, but painting is really not my forte and neither are making humans with hair and clothing, so yeah, it's, it's just not, eh. 
It may be better now, but I don't really want to take the chance to find out because it's just too much work. This one is a lionfish, and I thought it was kind of derpy and funny that I was making like a pun. It really looks like a flower in the front with like just a fat tail in the back. I thought it was creative back then, but it's really not creative now. Don't like it too much. Here's another attempt at making humans. This is supposed to be like a sprite, and I really like Lily of the Valley flower, so that's what I try to make on her head. And it's just really, really ugly. And I just should have given up on I should have given up on making human-like things back then, and now I know I don't make anything human now, but I really should have given up back then. This, I believe I made in 2012 or 11. It's one of those cake roll cats, and it's back in the day when you would paint on eyes with like, those like, tools like eye pins and stuff you like use that to paint on eyes and dotting tools and oh my god it's so ugly like this deserves a remake it seriously does here's a little cat and this was probably back in the day when everyone just made little balls with little circle bodies with little dot eyes that are extremely tiny Yep, this is just really simple. It's very geometric. This bunny I made based on artist Heather Sketcheroos. And for some reason, I remember making this. I thought I made it so much bigger, but this is tiny. Like, I could barely hold it. I can't make anything this small anymore because my fingers just would fall off. Anyways, this bunny's arm, this arm right here, the right arm, is so much longer than this arm. And then this ear is so much bigger than this ear. And the legs are put together in a weird way where the left leg is more slanted than the other. And I don't know why he chose this pearly color because you can't really see the details as well. And everything here is just so sparkly and it just doesn't, it doesn't match well. Like this pink bunny with you don't even see that there's like a pink nose here because they're like both pink. I really should have thought of something better. Here's another humanoid spirit that I made and I believe I made this with different scrap clays that I had. And it probably would have looked better if I could make humans better but nope, I can't. So it just looks really ugly and looks super like fantasy like. Has a lot of pinks and purples and stuff. I attempted making nature spirits so many times, but in the end they all just kind of look like this. Very ugly and derp. Here's another nature spirit that I made. This doesn't even have a mouth because I just stopped and it doesn't have like a head or any like hair. It's more like just like a flower with some leaves. It kind of looks like a Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's what I was going for. I believe this is unfinished, but it should stay unfinished. Here is a little Mame Goma seal from the Sanrio or Sanax series with a little tail and it's a little skeleton Mame Goma. I don't hate it. I think it's creative in its own way, but it's too small and it probably would have looked cooler if I added the skeleton all around, but I'm pretty sure I stopped here because of my laziness. And then finally, I have this little BMO cake pop, and this was back in the day when cake pops were super popular. And it's just too tiny. I don't have any details of the BMO. I literally have just a face with some buttons, and inside, it really kind of does look like cake colored, but it's so small that you really can't tell. And I'm just not a big fan. I prefer more details and more cleanly made. I just don't think I hit the mark with this one. And I'm pretty sure I didn't like it back then either. So, these are all of my creations that I'm gonna show you for my part one of judging old creations. I have so much more to show you guys. Um, but this is what I have for now. And these are all super old. 
I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video and maybe you'll see some newer creations for Polly Momochi judging his old stuff. Because, you know, anything old, they could be something I even made like this year, just, you know, like last week and I just don't like it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know which one of these creations you have seen before and if I should remake any of them, which one I should do. So, let me know in the comments section below. Thank you.